We, the EU military staff, are the source of military expertise within the European External Action Service. We work under the direction of the military committee of the Member States Chiefs of Defence who deliver the military capabilities and under the direct authority of the High Representative who heads the External Action Service and chairs the Foreign Affairs Council, both Foreign Affairs and Defence. The External Action Service coordinates the external elections of the European Union. As the EU's diplomatic service, it is also responsible for the development and execution of the common security and defence policy. We are proud to be the military component of this team. We strengthen the diplomatic leverage of the EU because together with Member States, we ensure that the European Union can act militarily, being one of its instruments of power. We assure that our preparations and actions always fit within the political goals of the European Union. As an integral element of the EU's comprehensive approach to crisis management, we coordinate military action. We do so with a focus on operations and the creation of future military capabilities. For this, we coordinate the military dimensions with the Member State Defence Staffs, the European Defence Agency, the European Commission, NATO, the United Nations, the African Union and strategic partner countries. We do so in full concert with all our partners within the External Action Service and specifically the Crisis Management Planning Directorate, the Civilian Planning and Conduct Capability and our partners for crisis response. The military can be used across the full spectrum of crisis prevention, response and management, ranging from support to humanitarian assistance, civil protection, security sector reform, stabilization and evacuation of citizens, to more complex military operations such as peacekeeping and peace enforcement. We have been established to ensure the availability of the military instrument with all its domains as one integrated military organization. If called upon, we will support our civilian colleagues with our broad range of expertise, for instance, planning, intelligence, medical, engineering, infrastructure, transport, by land, sea and air, other logistic support, communication, IT, security, cyber, education, exercises and lessons learned. Still, we will not forget that the resident data for the military is the ability to act quickly as one integrated entity for the broad range of military options, including complex combined joint operations. In concert with the EU Military Committee and external action service partners, we create circumstances in which military can conduct their missions and operations together with their civilian partners in the field. If security reasons deny others the ability to operate, the military will stand and act as necessary, accepting the related risks. This gives us a special responsibility.